welcome my fellow Sorolians. Today, today's that day where I tried the Grand Big Mac. But uh, pause, it's snowing out here. It's like five days in a row snowing. It's crazy. When's the snow ever gonna stop? Is it ever gonna stop? I don't know. But uh, before I go to McDonald's, my first stop is going to be the barbers because let's be honest, I'm looking quite shocking right now. It's uh, it's quite disgraceful, really. So, I'm gonna go barbers. See you on the other side. Let's go. Ah, back from the barbers. Looking fresh. Still snowing. So off to McDonald's now. Um, before I get into it, just wanted to give you guys like a little update of what's actually been going on in my life. Um, been really, really busy. Um, with work and exams on the way and also uh, planning the wedding. It's just been a stressful time and uh, due to a few uh, due to a few issues I was in the right frame of mind and I actually left my bag on the train and that was with the entire camera gear. I'm talking the, um, the EOS M3, my shotgun mic, my uh, my tripod, everything, my extra lens, batteries, everything I left on the train. I was panicking, thinking, shit, what am I going to do? Because I hadn't insured the camera. Can you imagine? Nearly a grand worth of um, gear gone like that. So I accepted that, I've lost it. I accepted that and I started looking for new cameras and I fell in love with the M6 which kind of um, tackles a few of the issues I've had with my M3. Uh, you probably haven't noticed but for me I find it very very frustrating especially when I'm using a pancake lens. The stability is not really there, it's not really there and for a camera that's like that expensive it's, it's pretty annoying. Also, the fact that the autofocus is absolutely terrible. So, you know, when I'm trying to present things to you guys, it's all out of focus. I'm having to meddle around with the focus ring. It's not the one. So, yeah, I've been looking at the M6. It looks like a decent camera that tackles those issues. But then Canon just announced a new camera, EOS M50 mirrorless, that seems to tackle everything and is so much better. But anyway, I am ranting. Uh, let's go to McDonald's, because I'm starving. Here we are at McDonald's. Let's go. So I'm here at McDonald's. Decided to get the Mac Junior and the Grand Big Mac. So we'll start with the Mac Junior. Personally, I don't see what is the point for Mac Junior. I mean, the, the regular Big Mac, to me, it's already too small. I call it a Big Mac, but it really should be called a Small Mac. Anyway, it's a Mac Junior and uh, just as expected, the assembly of the burger is so disappointing. So it's one patty, I've got some uh, Big Mac sauce, one pickle, and a slice of cheese. I think the Big Mac sauce is plentiful for this uh, Mac Junior. 
So this burger is actually not dry at all. I'm having a better experience with this one than I am with the Big Mac. I don't know with the Big Mac. It's like the ratio of the the sauce to the the bun and the bread is imbalanced. Like it's generally dry. I'm generally disappointed when I get a Big Mac. But this is nice, it's just very small. So that's that done. The brand Big Mac. So I think they've been doing Big Mac for 50 years. I've got something over there. Anyway, yeah. So they've been doing Big Mac for 50 years and to celebrate it, that's why they launched the Grand Big Mac. First impressions, it reminds me of the quarter pounder with cheese. Call it a double decker quarter pounder with cheese. It's a quarter pounder. The cheese is just one layer and this one's two layers. Again, the assembly is not the best. You got the cheese leaning on the side. Like so. Take the burger out. Yeah, I got some onions, a bit more pickles in there, uh, Big Mac sauce, another patty, cheese, and yet some more Big Mac sauce. It's warm. I think that bite was a bit dry, if I'm honest. Some more Big Mac sauce. Two big bites and still quite a lot to go. It's definitely uh, a better option. It's quite a shame that this is only going to be going around until the 20th of March. This should be a mainstay in their menu. It should stay permanently. But McDonald's, they never, they bring out great burgers and they never actually allow them to last. They get really frustrated with the Big Tasty because they're never consistent with having it out on the menu. One day it's there, the next minute it's not. And to me, the Big Tasty is far superior to the Big Mac. But this is actually a good shout. Now, in all the years I've been to McDonald's, I've never actually had any of their Sundays. I usually go for their McFlurry. I think that's the only thing I go for, either the McFlurry or the apple pie. Never actually tried their Sundays. So this is the toffee Sunday. I'm gonna try it for the first time and just give it the honest verdict. pretty decent obviously I can tell it's the same ice cream that they use for the McFlurry just with some toffee sauce it's all right but I'm honest I'd rather go for the McFlurry I feel like there's more going on it's just ice cream and toffee sauce but it'll probably go well with my apple pie yeah so all in all I think the the Mac Junior, is, I feel it's more flavoursome than the great, it's a Grand Big Mac, and that's because of the um, the Big Mac sauce to bun and meat ratio. The big, uh, the Grand Mac Junior could have a little bit more, but I think they're both better than the Big Mac. So anyway, that's the end of my review, guys. Um, if you like the give, if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I do videos every single week. Make sure you check out my other videos right there. So, till next time, peace.